Welcome to Exasperated Nerd Explains. I know I'm a bit late on this one, but the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, is out, so now it's time for some pointless speculation. It's what we do on the internet. It's pointless speculation. Some quick backstory on where I am as a fan of the Star Wars. I love it. I have books, games, comics, merchandise, and have been a fan as long as I can remember. But The Last Jedi kind of broke me. Like a lot of people, I like Star Wars less now because of it. I still watched this teaser as soon as I saw it was posted. There I was at Perkins, surrounded by the elderly, watching this teaser, trying to be kind of quiet. The thing that really stuck out to me is the name of the new film, and without even seeking anything out, I've seen four primary theories as to what it means. 1. Luke was Rey's dad all along, and she is a Skywalker. Great. People seem happy about this, but I'm not sure why. You're gonna make Luke a deadbeat dad too now? After everything you put the character through in the last film, you're gonna throw that in the mix and have a party? It does bring back the incesty angle from the original trilogy though, so, you know, nostalgia. 2. Kylo Ren is the Skywalker referenced. Even better, he was named Ben Solo, kills his dad, then turns back to the light side and takes his mom's maiden name instead. A name that she didn't even know existed until she was an adult. I guess he still wants to stick it to his old man, this time in a new way. 3. Per the title of Episode 8, the Jedi did end, and they are now going to be called Skywalkers instead. This is a way to honor the character and his legacy. It sounds good, but with a new trilogy, let's take a look at his legacy and the legacy of the Skywalker name. A Skywalker kills the Jedi and serves as right hand man to the Emperor's Spock rule. Luke Skywalker blows up Death Star, fails apparently to take down the Emperor, fails at starting a new Jedi school, and quits after turning his nephew into Vera Jr., helping reignite a new galactic civil war that never really ended in the first place since the First Order's existence stretches back to the Empire. Luke trains the new Skywalker, Rey, for like a solid afternoon, having developed no new guy in philosophy or principles even after years of self-imposed exile at the first Jedi Temple, spending his days doing nothing but fishing, grumbling, and drinking tip milk like a deranged grandpa. Real nice legacy you set up for him. Or, he just comes back to life, which is so very, very stupid, but is honestly probably the best option. Anyways, the trailer itself looks like there's a lot of action, gang's all here. You got Ray, Finn, Nathan Drake, Emperor's back, I guess, just chilling in the wreckage of the Death Star. I guess Endor broke his fall. Either way, J.J. Abrams is going to shuffle this desiccated corpse of a trilogy into theaters in December after Rian Johnson murdered it in front of us. I mean, I'm still going to see it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me how wrong I am, whatever. Bye.